Really? You're not going to come up here? No, because you're going to put, put her the treats on. I put the treats on top of the tower. But yeah, she's wise to that now. Yeah, you're going to put her on the internet. So Cat... she just stands next to the tower and tries to catch them. Cat doesn't want to be on the internet. Doesn't like the internet. She's smart enough to figure that out, but she can't remember that she's trying to stay away from us. Yeah, they, they, I think our animals are much smarter than us because they don't use Twitter. Yeah. Well, speaking of animals... On that oh, happy note... Yeah, speaking of animals, we've got some wonderful... I don't mean that word. That's not how I mean that word. We have some stuff tonight for the thing. Stuff for the thing. Stuff I, for the thing. I am a professional, ladies and gentlemen. Do we have that story about the thing and the guy with the place? Yeah, we do. That I am thing, I, that guy with the thing in the place. Did you get that thing I, I sent you? Right. Um, I am a professional, everyone. I want you to remember that. This this is what I do. I am a professional internet man. All right, let's get the intro going. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And we're going to start with Florida. Miami. Florida! Yeah. Yeah, Florida. America's Wang. This, this is one of those everyone involved should have known better. Oh. Could have known better. Five seconds of thinking would have known better. And yet decided not to know better. I, I can only I only say decided not to, because there's there's just no better explanation. Oh boy. Alright, let's bring this on over here. Oh yeah. Miami nightclub shuts after outrage over a horse on the dance floor stunt what amused me was how many people sent this to us when it was already trending on twitter everybody was like it was like the it's like there's a bat signal and there's a nash signal the bat signal goes up when there's crime the nash signal goes up when there's idiots and this is what i've done to myself i think maybe the nash signal is just a poop emoji <laughs> that's projected onto the sky Nightclub has been shut down after video emerged showing a scantily clad woman riding a horse inside the packed venue before it appears to panic and throws her off. Lovers are heard gasping and screaming amid the chaos at the Florida club. Miami Beach City Manager Jimmy Morales said he had revoked uh, Makai Lounge's business license. Police and enforcement officers also launched an investigation after receiving multiple complaints about the incident at the South Beach venue on Thursday. No injuries to humans or the animals have been reported. What the fuck were you thinking? Horses are extremely easily spooked. They're prey animals. Yeah. Like, there's a reason they wear blinders in races or if they're pulling a carriage. Because they're really easily spooked. You... And when they're spooked, they run. They freak. I mean, do you know, the, the, there's a thing you have to do with horses. If you're going to go behind a horse, you have to put your hand on the side of the horse yeah. and keep it. Walk around the horse while maintaining contact with the horse so it doesn't freak out and think you're coming so you up behind you. So the shit out of that poor horse. And get kicked in the head. But yeah. they can't see their own butt because they're enormous. Yeah. And they're really easily spooked. So bringing a horse into a place that's really crowded and full of loud noises and flashing lights. I I, I wish I couldn't see my own butt. Uh, that's that's where horses are superior to man. I mean, there are people that. I I wish I couldn't see mine. It's I'm... it's the internet. There's there's people that haven't seen their own nooks and crannies in a while. Just I. Someone thought this this would be a great promotion. People will think it's awesome. We'll have a horse out there. No, what you do is you put a horse in with a bunch of drunk people, and the yeah. first thing the drunk people do is go, Horsey! Hi, I'm a loud person. I'm going to touch and hug you from all directions. Yeah, that's not... What and it's crowded? Like, and... I'm a woman. 
I don't know if you guys are up to speed on that. <laughs> Women in nightclubs wear the stupidest fucking shoes possible. <laughs> I don't know why we do it. It's stupid. We, we went to the play last week. I have these boots. They're so cute. I can walk about half a block in them before I want to kill myself. We paid $40 for a pedicab ride because I couldn't fucking walk four blocks to our hotel. See, all right. I have to, we're talking shoes. I have to make a slight plug here. Um, do you know Jenny Breeden who does a webcomic, The Devil's Panties? Yes. I adore her. She has got the best club boots. Have you seen these things? They're, does she make them or? Well, I don't know where she gets them. They're like black leather with flames on them. And they're like this freaking high, but they're Ooh. perfectly comfortable to walk around in and they could kill someone and they're awesome. Nice. Just, just, a, a you know, but yeah. so the stupid fucking shoes that women wear to these things, I wouldn't want to be in a close vicinity of like a thousand pound animal with hooves. Cause that sounds like a broken ankle to me. They well, and if a horse puts down its hoof on your foot, goodbye foot. Yeah. That's Except I'm already going to be in the process of falling over from trying to run because of my stupid fucking shoes. So it's going to step on my ankle sideways, and I'm never going to walk again. I do. I have to. I do have to point out that it was very good that the, the fucking city went no, no. Give me your business license, you idiots. You can't be trusted. You go go home. You can't be trusted. That's so not safe for the poor horse. Like, I'm glad it says the horse is okay. Yeah. That is probably the worst possible environment you could bring a horse into, apart from, like, a fucking tank range. <sighs> well, let's, let's, move to, let's move to Illinois for this next... Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's not move to Illinois. I hear it's boring there. I look forward to your comments. I like Illinois. Um, I mean, it is... has the Chicago, but they have shitty pizza. <sighs> this this <laughs> fucking guy can't handle the pe people who can't handle their drugs are one thing. Some people can't handle their drugs spectacularly. Oh, um, cops crime spree prompted by zombie fears. What did I tell you? <laughs> what? When people walk slow, they're just assholes. You don't shoot them. I don't know what you're talking about. Fearful of an impending zombie apocalypse, an agitated Illinois man allegedly stole a car, rammed the vehicle into an airport terminal, then made his way onto the tarmac where he boarded a vacant plane in an apparent bid to escape the undead invaders. Justin Demey, 27, was indicted today on several felony charges related to a bizarre drug-fueled spree last month in Peoria. Locked up in lieu of $500,000 bond, Demey is charged with burglary, home invasion, criminal damage, and possession of a stolen vehicle. Um, according to investigators, Demey was under the influence of narcotics when he became convinced that a zombie invasion was nigh. Demi is huh. accused of breaking into the home of his neighbor and stealing the keys to her Ford Escape. Demi then drove the stolen SUV to the Peoria airport, where he sought to crash into the terminal. He somehow bypassed security and got on board an empty plane parked on the tarmac. Um, he then fled the stationary plane and, with the aid of a brick, tried to break into a sheriff's office squad car. Um, where the fuck did he get a brick in an airport? Um, and then Demi planned to drive the car to Florida. Yeah, because that's exactly where the zombies wouldn't be. Like, that wouldn't be patient zero. I, I always laugh when some shit goes down in Peoria because I studied journalism in college. Uh -huh. And there's a journalism saying, but how will it play in Peoria? And what it means is you have to write your things in a way that... You know, if like if you're writing for the New York Times, you can't think about just what people in Manhattan care about. You have to think about stories that people in nowhere Illinois will want to read. So it's but how will it play in Peoria? Yeah, well, lately those stories about people in nowhere Illinois are all about why I still Nazis. love Trump. Nazis, but yeah, 
Um, me. um but it, it, they, so they don't read your comments. They they don't say what specific substance or substances caused Demi to think that zombies were pursuing him. What the fuck were you taking? I just want to point out his line of reasoning here. Okay. So you thought it was the zombie apocalypse. Uh-huh. So you stole an SUV, albeit with a hilarious name. The Ford Escape. Escape. <laughs> and you decided you should go to the airport. Which, again, if this were a zombie apocalypse, let's go to a tightly packed place full of germs and stupid people shuffling around. That are penned in and can't leave. Oh shit. Then I... let's get on an airplane with recycled air. And then let's go to Florida. I Everything ju- about your plan was wrong. I just realized why he thought it was a zombie apocalypse. Too much fucking speed. Cause then when you get on too much for everybody else is like, are you okay? <laughs> You might need to sit down. M- maybe was it that maybe he was on that dr- that drug from the Dread movie with Carl Urban? <laughs> yes. Sorry, someone's texting me. Okay. Uh... But yeah, everything about your plan was wrong. You went to all the places that would be full of zombies. Yep. You went everywhere that's guaranteed to be zombie palooza. I mean, the only worst place you could have gone to was a mall. Unless it's, I mean, that worked in Dawn of the Dead. They had to clear the mall out. Right. But then you could survive there for a long ass time. This guy was trying to steal a plane without a pilot. Do you really yeah, think he could not, clear not the not mall? A, not a great idea. No, he's not, not a good planner. Not a good planner, this guy. Oh, speaking of bad plans, I don't know. This is one of those, um, what, what were you thinking? How did you come to this? This is a bad, everything of what you did was bad here. Your plan was bad. Your weekend, everything was bad. Guard transporting inmate inmate stops for casino visit in East St. Louis. Prisoner escapes. I mean, why not? (laughs) Driver for a Texas private security company was fired Wednesday after an inmate escaped while the driver slept at the Casino Queen Hotel. According to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, the driver was transporting two men from Oklahoma to Texas. You know what's not on the way from Oklahoma to Texas? Illinois? Illinois! I didn't know there was a St. Louis, Illinois. East St. Louis, yeah. Yeah, East St. Louis. I thought that was a thing Leonard Cohen made up. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's no casinos in East St. Louis. The only thing in East St. Louis are titty bars. <laughs> <laughs> so that explains what was going on. There. The, oh, that gets even better. The driver and two inmates checked in the hotel. The driver woke up less than an hour later to find the inmate gone. It's unclear why the driver, Lamont Henderson, Traveled all the way to East St. Louis. He told police he was scheduled to meet a supervisor in the area on Monday, but authorities are still investigating those claims. Yeah, you're going to meet your supervisor at the at the Casino Queen Hotel. Sure. Sure, Jan. Oh, it gets, it's even better. Henderson also informed police that uh, inmate Jordan um, stole $5,200 in cash that he had in a satchel. Police are investigating why Henderson had such a large amount of cash with him. So you're transporting inmates. Uh Uh-huh. And you decide to bring five fucking grand in a bag (laughs) and take a giant detour Mm -hmm. to a whole different state. Yep. To go to a casino. Yep. And you just think that's like you just And then you go to sleep. Right. Then you then you have a nap and it's like, okay, you guys, I'm gonna take a nap. You guys be good. We're on the honor system. Right. Don't raid don't raid the cash bar. If the honor system was gonna work with inmates, we wouldn't need to lock prisons. If it was just like, okay, now you guys stay here, you were very bad. Stay oh. here. 
And, and this, the guy who got away was on a parole violation for, for, for possession of methamphetamine. And you just gave him $5,200. Yeah. And he stole a car. He ain't coming this back. Is the zombie apocalypse story? Is this the same dude? It's a different dude. Oh. Just, you're, you're never seeing that $5,200 again. That's gone. Oh, no, fuck no. That is, that is dis the fuck appeared. That is gone. Oh. I, I would love to hear the explanation for this. This is, this, this is just. Because I feel like your supervisor, <laughs> if they have any clue how to do their job, is not going to ask you to drive like a thousand miles out of your way while transporting inmates to meet them at a casino. This is all... I don't think that's standard procedure. This is all of the bad decisions. Just he had every bad decision in his life in one day. <laughs> he just saved them all up and cashed them in. Like most of us spread them out <laughs> over a period of 70 years or so. This guy... Let's just do this. Got them all done at once. That's admirable in a way. Yep. Oh, next one. Oh, okay. When when I was a kid, I liked to pretend. Everyone likes to pretend as a kid. They like to pretend they're going to be things. You pretend you're going to be a superhero. You pretend firefighter. You pretend all sorts of stuff. And you get a little bit older, you get into theater, and you pretend to be stuff, or you get into role-playing, you pretend to be stuff. Um, however, this kid took the shit a little too far. 14-year-old arrested after Victorville deputies find ballistic vest fake firearms. 14-year-old boy pretending to be a sheriff's deputy was arrested after investigators say he drove around in a Ford Explorer equipped with blue and red flashing lights, launched phony investigations, pulled people over. Investigators discovered counterfeit money, simulation firearms, ballistic vests, and other law enforcement-related items in his home. The unidentified teen, who was already on probation, was arrested uh, Tuesday when Sergeant Jeff Monroe spotted the Explorer and pulled it over. The team was inside the vehicle. Um, images captured from a home show the teen in a uniform resembling a sheriff's deputy's uniform wearing a baseball cap and sunglasses. Um, he's wearing what appears to be one of the types of uniforms our deputy wears. Investigation began Monday when deputies were called to a home in uh, Victorville. The caller said someone had pulled a white explorer in their driveway with red and blue flashing lights. The vehicle had no markings indicating it was a sheriff's department vehicle. Person told deputies someone in a sheriff's uniform wearing a holster and what appeared to be a firearm walked up to the door and told everyone inside he was investigating a domestic disturbance. He's 14, so it probably went like this. Hi, we got a domestic disturbance call. <laughs> Please step outside. Where did he get all this shit? It was his great-grandmother's Ford Explorer. <laughs> Where did he get realistic ballistic vests and guns and... Well, the airsoft guns are very easy. True. To That's right. easy as shit. Yeah. Um, he Counter also... Money? Like... He also pulled a lady over and gave her a warning. How does a 14-year-old even know how to drive? <laughs> I couldn't drive when I was 14. I know... I in the sticks where you come from, y'all learn to drive a tractor to chase down your runaway pigs and shit, but... <laughs> oh, runaway pigs. In civilization, that's not how we do it. I... I mean, law enforcement is, a lot, is not a LARP. No. You, you just... You can't just be like, I'm going to be a cop today because I want to. This kid's lucky he's not dead. Because, <laughs> like, uh, from the picture, th I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and make the YouTube commenters mad. Looks like a white kid. Yeah. Pretty sure that's why this kid's not dead. Yeah. But Jesus Christ. Like, do you not have school? <laughs> 
a fucking paper room? And he was board? already he was already on probation. They don't say what he was on probation for, but this I mean How does this happen? <laughs> I'm so confused. This is just a it's like uh this is like a hobby or something. It makes me think of did you ever see, you you've seen Hot Fuzz, right? Yes. Where he talks about how when he was a kid, he had a little toy police car and he used to drive around writing people tickets. <laughs> yes. This is that character. Uh, only 14 years. How were people? I, I must have been a really, really, really early, you know, puberty on this kid. Because he doesn't look small. Like from the picture. <sighs> He's as big as the dude he pulled over. How the fuck do you get away with... Ugh. Man, when I was 14, I was not spending my money on this shit. I was spending it on, on video games. When I was 14, I didn't have money. <laughs> I didn't have any fucking money. I made two fifty an hour babysitting. <laughs> Two fucking kids now make like twenty dollars an hour babysitting. I made two fifty an hour babysitting. Well, you you should you lowballed yourself. I was gonna say I didn't do that, but at fourteen, I probably would have done something like that. I mean, there, there's a reason I went into the army because somebody had to teach me what is it, not to do shit. What is like it your that. mother used to say to you? That I was either going to college or prison and she was really happy when I graduated. <laughs> <laughs> There's still time. Uh, <laughs> next up is we are back in Florida. Fuck, we're back in Florida again. Um This is one of those your your mouth goes off before your brain does. That happens to me all the time. Yeah, you, you before you all the time. It's a little thing called situational awareness. Yeah. Before you go to, before you actually engage with other people, you should take stock of what's going on around you. For example, if you are going to engage with the police in an angry and aggressive manner, you should probably not have a car full of cocaine. No. Police pulled uh, over uh, Rance Shannon. That's a name. Um, according to Gainesville Police, they were working a crash in Middown when Rance Shannon continuously honked his horn at four stop patrol vehicles and fire rescue. Police approached really? Shannon. <laughs> yeah, he's honking at an accident. Police approached Shannon, could smell marijuana coming from his car. After they searched it, they found a handgun. A loaded magazine, ten thousand dollars in cash. They also found five mason jars of marijuana, nearly a hundred grams of cocaine, four handguns, and a baseball bat. God grant me the confidence of a white dude who will start shit with the cops with a car full of drugs and guns. Rance Shannon. Okay, Rance. Rance. Who named you Rance? Is that a reference to something? I've never I heard. I don't get like there's some southern people names that I don't fucking get. Like half of Congress, half half of the politicians from southern states are they sound like an they sound like a gum disease. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck did southerners name their kids? Like what is wrong with you? Listerine wipes out rats. Rance Priebus. I don't even remember where he's from, but what the fuck kind of name is that? <laughs> I just, okay. If you have all of this shit on your person, the yeah. last people you want to engage in any way, <laughs> yeah. shape, or form is the police. Yeah. Just leave them alone. But no, you're going to start <laughs> shit. Hey, get out of my way. I have places to be with all my guns and cocaine. Come on now. Some of us have drugs to smuggle. Ron Howard's dad was named Rance, apparently. Ron Howard's dad was named Rance. 
Okay. We learned something tonight. I just... it, Motherfucker! The audacity of your ass! Yeah. Because they will come... If you honk a bunch at the cop, when they're working a goddamn crash, people could be hurt. And yeah. your ass is like, Move! These drugs won't sell themselves, goddammit! I can say, God grant me the confidence of a white dude who will fuck with the cops with a car full of drugs. <laughs> I want that kind of self-assurance. And look at his mugshot, too. He is... I didn't give a fuck. Yeah, I, I'm trying to make the picture bigger. They're telling me Rain Spring, this is actually from Jersey, so... Wow. I don't know how that happened. Just, just look at the, this... Oh, come on. Computer. Tonight, really? You're gonna be... Look at this smug, self-assured motherfucker. Like, yeah, and? Yeah. Fuck you. So what? Whatever. You're not my mom. This smug bastard. Well, enjoy jail, rant Shannon. Okay, I already know our very next story is one you're going to give, uh, you're going to give Dan shit over. Oh God. <laughs> um so when you get angry about being arrested, you, you have Can't recourse. I've ever had that experience. You have recourse. You can uh speak to the judge, you could file a countersuit, you can do a whole bunch of things. It's not great. But you can do things that are considered appropriate and proportional responses. Sure. This, not one of them. Vermont man accused of crushing cop cars with farm tractor. <laughs> Roger Pian. Pian? I say it's either. A Vermont man who authorities say was angry over an arrest and used his tractor to drive over seven police vehicles on Thursday. Wow. Expected in court. According to police, uh, Payan 34 was on a big farm tractor, angry about his arrest for resisting arrest and marijuana possession last month. He was angry about his arrest for resisting arrest. Was rolling across their vehicles, five marked cute cruisers, one unmarked car, and a transport van. A van. Orleans police sheriffs working outside their building on Thursday didn't know what was happening until a neighbor called 911. They didn't hear the ruckus outside because their air conditions were hum air conditioners were humming. Police ran outside. The tractor was already down the driveway and out onto the road. Now this is the best part. Police say they couldn't pursue the man because their cars were crushed. Quote: We had nothing to pursue him with. And that's when the Dukes of Hazard theme music kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> and Waylon Jennings said something about those Duke boys. And they all took their hats <laughs> off and threw them on the ground. <laughs> See, and you can't give me shit about that because that occurred in Vermont. <laughs> yeah. Vermont. Vermont is the redneck bill. Vermont and certain portions of Maine... May as well be Alabama. He, he I was. To your comments. He was <laughs> caught. Newport City police caught up to him a short distance away. You know how they caught him? Tractors don't go that fast. No, they don't. They are not a great getaway vehicle. No. I know. I know. We talk a lot about compounding the error. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a literal physical case of compounding the error. You want to arrest me? You want to arrest me? Fine, I'll fucking show you you want to arrest me. Like, we've never had someone who literally, physically compounded the error. I mean, look at those cars. Yeah. I like the last quote. Awesome. Nobody was hurt. That's the thing everybody's got to cherish. <laughs> <laughs> So and, not, Kirk Martin. and not the fact that they need to spend $300,000 to replace 
all the police cars. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys like being bike cops. Uh... <laughs> I seriously am just picturing them like Cletus, like just all throwing their hats down and stamping their feet. Burn, dang, while dang, 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 Well, th them old Duke boys are at it again. I don't, I don't really, this is one of those where sometimes you've got to stop, count to 10, take a deep breath. Yeah. You Don't, gotta, you gotta think about it. Cause you gotta, there's gonna be fucking consequences. Yeah. If you weren't going to jail before, by God, you are now. I mean, resisting arrest and marijuana position, possession, you're probably not going to jail for a long time. Like, that's, neither of those are hugely major. No. If you didn't assault somebody in the process, if you didn't have like a car full of weed, shit, you got a good lawyer. You got you're getting probation. You're getting if, probation. Yeah, if it's if it's like not your millionth offense, now you're going to fucking prison. I just is. <laughs> oh God, isn't? Am I mistaken, or is the v Vermont state flag the one with "Don't tread on me"? I don't know. New Hampshire's "Live Free or Die." Yeah. All I'm thinking about is you're taking the, the, even the snake is telling you not to do this. Don't tread on me because you just you're doing it wrong. Like it doesn't it's not fucking war, World of Warcraft. If you take out their cavalry. That doesn't mean they can't get you. Oh. <laughs> I mean, God damn. Oh, that's New Hampshire. OK. All right. Don't think there's a state flag with don't tread on me. Eh. Yeah, that was the old revolutionary flag. I don't think it's any state's flag. This is <laughs> the state flag a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, now it's just now it's just, I look forward to your fucking comments. <laughs> now it's just the redneck flag. Is my I'm just staring at those cars. Holy shit. Yeah. That what? does look like something out of Smokey and the Bandit. I swear That's to God. <laughs> okay, I guess I guess the first thing we learned tonight is um, don't make it worse. No. It's they. It's, Quit while you're fucking behind. <laughs> I mean, how many fucking tractors are there in your area? Someone's going to point out it's your tractor. Well, I mean, if it's farm country, a lot. But still, they don't go that quick. Oh, God damn it. We've learned that, you know what? You probably shouldn't provoke the police if you're doing really, really illegal shit. No. And not even, this isn't even like provoking the police over something rational. This is... You were in a big goddamn hurry, so you're fucking you're in with... my way. Yeah, you're fucking on my way to do my illegal shit. They're trying to save somebody's life, and you're like, "Fuck you!" I got mason jars of marijuana back here. They gotta move. Yeah. Ace, who puts marijuana in mason jars? Honestly, hipsters. <laughs> That'll be the new thing. Like, you won't be able to roll a joint anymore. You'll have to smoke it off of like. It'll be like rolled artisanal birch bark or something. <laughs> Hipsters can ruin anything. We've learned uh, if you want to be in law enforcement, you're going to have to wait until you graduate high school and then maybe get hired. Yeah. You, you have, have to wait till your balls drop. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to actually... Not because, not because you require a scrotum for the job, just it's, you know, you should be done with your bodily development. And yeah. al and also not driving around great grum great grandma's fucking Ford Explorer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. She needs that car to get to bingo. We've learned space out your bad decisions throughout your life. Yeah. Don't cash them all in at once. You got time. <laughs> you got plenty of time. You got time. I mean, maybe he knows something we don't. Like, if the world was going to end tomorrow, oh my god, the stupid shit I would do. 
We've learned that if you can't handle your drugs, don't watch The Walking Dead. I mean, I don't even do drugs, and I stopped watching that show four seasons ago. <laughs> That's fair assessment. It's a fair assessment. Yeah, you, you should... You, but still, you, you should... If you can't handle your shit, don't... Yeah. Because you end up fucking on a run that's a that that's that's like federal shit if you fuck up with mm -hmm. if you fuck with an airport that's federal shit what's the line from american gods don't piss off those bitches at the airport <laughs> <laughs> and finally fuck you right up finally we've learned tonight don't take your horse to a nightclub that is right up there on this list of things I never thought I'd have to say in my life. And yet, here I am having to say, don't take your fucking horse to a nightclub. Even the rap song said, fuck your M Mazda whatever, I have a horse outside. outside. right. Outside. Fuck your Honda that's Civic. that's where horses live. I have a horse outside. Right. Not inside. Don't. Night. Outside. I mean, horse dancing? That's a whole different thing. I don't think I'm up I'm aware of horse dancing. Oh, this was a big do you remember Mitt Romney's wife with the dressage? Oh yeah. Horse dancing. Yeah. Yeah, that that's not how horse dancing works. Now little girls competitively ride hobby horses, like broomstick horses. It's a sport now where they competitively run an obstacle course on a fucking broomstick horse. It's a thing. That's a thing that we do. White people, man. I'm not fucking kidding. Look it up. It's a thing. I don't want it to be a thing. <laughs> 